Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and this is going to be a short video update on a post I wrote for Sony Alpha Rumors this week concerning pincushion distortion in this guy, Sony's 18 to 105 millimeter F4PZ, which stands for Power Zoom, G OSS for Optical Steady Shot, Image Stabilization, uh, and here's the update in a nutshell. When I used the FS5 with this lens and discovered pretty severe pincushion distortion, that was with version 2 of the lens firmware. Apparently there's a version 3. And it was before I updated the FS5 to firmware release 2.0 in anticipation of this. Yeah, I'll be testing shortly Sony's uh, raw interface for the FS5. Pretty exciting. But you need to upgrade to 2.0 before you can do that. Oh yeah, by the way, in order to take advantage of that, you need an SDI connection. Uh, it won't output RAW via HDMI to a 4K recorder, so I'm pretty excited to uh, take along this guy, Blackmagic's new 4K video assist. Anyway, bottom line, the current firmware with the FS5 works, it's just fine. Sixty three hundred. I was confused because it has lens compensation in its 1.0 firmware release, but it was grayed out, so I didn't even bother trying it. Well, it's grayed out, but it says auto, and what that means is you don't have a choice of turning it off. And sure enough, the A6300 works just fine with this lens uh, because of that compensation. It's really fascinating how the balance between hardware and software is evolving very rapidly in cameras and you're going to see a lot more of that. I mean, we've had it in photo stitching, we've had it in lens correction or perspective correction in places like Photoshop for a while, but this is a whole different level of animal. It's just really, really impressive. 